Hi, I'm Pat Zion, and thank you for uh, watching the demo on the face on chipping. You will be able to see different angles from front view, side view, slow motion view, and everything, but this is how I want you to see it. It's like if I would be tossing a ball. So if I would be around the green and I, was, I had no club and I want to toss the ball, I would be bent over and toss the ball with my hand to the hole. Well, basically it's the same thing. Here's the face on chipping golf club. Our angle is 79 degree of line, 42 degree of loft. But depending on where you place the ball in the back of your stand in the front and so on, the ball gets more loft. But when you hit, the club goes square back, square forward. So it's like I'm tossing the ball with my hand. I want to do this replication of this motion. Well, I do the same thing. I put my left hand at the end of the grip, like my putter. I put it next to my right elbow, right hand on the shaft. And I go straight back, straight forward. Straight back, straight forward. Okay, this is how, if I want to hit a low ball, a lo low flight, and a lot more run, I place the ball towards my right foot in the back, and it goes straight back, straight forward. If I want to have like 50% in the air, 50% in the ground, I put it like in, in the middle of my stand. Again, the club face goes straight back, straight forward. If I want to get more height, like if you want to go over a bunker, I place it in the front of my left toe here. Straight back, straight forward. Again, now notice my knees movement. When I hit, it goes forward a little bit. All right, so when I go, I go straight back, straight forward. My club is always passing in the same spot. So that's where we'd, I, I would be placing my ball. Here, I go straight back, straight forward. It's very simple. Club face is square back, square when you hit it, square when it goes forward.
this is a good example of uh, face on chipping um, this is a delicate shot over the bunker and uh, into a you know fairly narrow green uh, if you notice we take a, a smooth stroke easy go straight back straight forward no power required ball position in front of our stand so we could get more height and less roll on the green so we could achieve of going over the bunker to a narrow green no power required just a little bit of body movement like you would be tossing a ball with your hand those down over here just a little bit. You mean to move them in? Yes. There you go. Okay. All, right. All right. now what you, you're about two, two and a half yards? One, two, six feet. Okay. Well, Patrice has now put down six balls that are approximately six feet away from the hole and he's going to demonstrate how important these short putts are when they help so much when they go in the hole. so much when it go in the <laughs> when it doesn't go you're gonna two putt and walk away okay here's Patrice demonstrating uh, 10 foot putts and uh, from different angles really helps when you six make feet. these putts Let's do it again. what happened you said 10 feet six feet here's here's uh, six putts from six feet and uh, these are very difficult putts to make and he's going to demonstrate how he can make them First one goes in. Second one's on its way, drops right in the middle. Here comes the third one. Again from six feet. Three out of three. Kind of interesting he's got four in and he's from all different angles and he's just moving around hitting each one separately without a lot of uh, warm-up five out of six let's hope this last one goes in five out of six wouldn't be bad for any of us would it but it's six out of six that dropped right in the middle excellent putting you could be the same on the greens 